Here we have the Pocosmos. You'll see him digging through the sand, looking for his next prey. The Pocosmos is a dangerous species. They have protective coats of slime used as a defense mechanism. As a predator grabs them, the slime coat comes off and goes into their mouth, which the slime coat is toxic, so leaves them choking on the skin. As prey nears their hideouts, they lunge forward and knock them aside with their bulkish bodies. In this display, we see the Blico cornering the pathetic nightfish against a rock. With each movement he makes, he forces the nightfish into a vulnerable state. Ready to attack, he lunges. The nightfish barely gets away and goes by the rock, only to come back for round two. The Pleco, minding its business, sees LeBron, LeBron being the nightfish. If we look deeper than the Pleco just being a harmful fish, or just dangerous, we see life, the circle of life to be more specific. Creatures like LeBron must die so that the Pleco can be pleased with himself. If the Pleco is pleased with himself, he is happy. The Pleco isn't just here to eat the fish, he's here to bring happiness and order to his kingdom. So I know what you're thinking about now, and we do have common interests with the Pleco. Yes, advanced pharmaceutical technologies. Now listen very carefully. Have you ever had this feeling where you feel a certain hatred for something. Well, that's what the Pleco constantly has. Can I blame him? Yes. But how could we understand his conditions? He's fed every day, has water changes weekly, and even has some of the decorations made to make him happy. Will we ever understand the Pleco? Yes, dude, he's just selfish. He's actually just a trash fish. You should just get rid of him. You don't understand the bleak like I do. No, leave him alone. No, no, no.